one of our, our uh, food security coordinators. And uh, how, how long have you been here? You've only been here with, uh, for, with us for a couple of months. I started November 21st, and so I got to go through the holidays, which was really a great experience. I'm uh, here with uh, Greg Miller. He was my partner this past week in the Food Stamp Challenge. And uh, we're going to get some final thoughts uh, on, the, on the week, Greg. So tell us how it was. How did, what, did, uh, what happened this week? Um, well, I mean, the $28 budget limit, I had about $2 left over, which I was hoping for a bit more of a buffer because um, I put in my blog post too, you know, I'm a bachelor in his 20s, I'm on the road constantly. <laughs> I've always thought of food as a necessity, but it's something I've always had a budget for. Yeah. So, you know, I've, I've always been really lucky in that I could, you know, spend a little bit extra on something if I wanted. If there was that extra seasoning, I could grab it. If there was that extra stuff, I could make it work. Um, I didn't have that option this week. I had to figure out how to make do with that set amount, and it really opens your eyes into the plight that too many people have to go through. Hi there, I'm back again and uh, talking this time with uh, Second Harvest Community Food Bank Chief Operating Officer Tamara Crowd. Tamara is uh, participating in the Food Stamp Challenge uh, this week, and uh, we're going to talk uh, a little bit about her experience. Um, you know, just to know that I can't eat whatever I want. I have to only eat what I bought from the store. There's no extras, there's no frills, and so more than anything it's been a very humbling experience. Hi everyone, this is Vicki Berg. Vicki is our uh, one of the newest members of our staff. She's our Director of Administration and Finance. And uh, new to the staff and jump right into Food Stamp Challenge. Yes, I but did. not just the Food Stamp Challenge. Why don't you explain kind of what you did, which was pretty extraordinary. Research among parents, not necessarily the medical community, says that gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free is best for children with autism. It's also a good um, diet for those with ADD and ADHD. So I decided to see if I could do that on $28 a week. That's impressive. You know, one of the challenges, which one of the challenges I've had, and I think some of the other ones that I've had the opportunity to talk with about their experience this month, is Taking the $28, stretching as far as you can mm -hmm. across that week, making sure that you, know, you can do at least something for 21 meals. Um, but the challenge that they run into is, is doing it in a healthy, nutritious way. Hi there. I'm back. This is uh, my last week of uh, Food Stamp Challenge here in uh, March. And my partner this week is, uh, is Barry Burr from KFEQ. This was a real eye-opener. Uh, to, to find out what it was like to get along on such a small amount of money every day and to do it day after day. You can do it for one day. You can do it for two days. And it's, it's doable. But to do it day after day after day and just the idea that even a week, um, you know, that's, that's a little bit longer time and it was not easy to do. Uh, but uh, I got a new appreciation for uh, how hard it is to, to not only do something like this, but when you get a little bit offline, eat something more than you should have eaten, run up your bill a little bit, um, how hard it is to catch up. Sure. And talking about the food stamp challenge, now uh, uh, I've completed my first full week uh, in my month long food stamp challenge or food stamp experience. And I had a partner this week, and uh, I thought we'd take some time and, and uh, ask Aaron here uh, how his his week went. Aaron works here at yep. the Second Harvest Community Food Bank. And Aaron, why don't you share a little bit about uh, how this week has gone and some of your learnings that, that you've, you've had this week. Okay. Um, I definitely say it uh, it has been quite an experience for me. Uh, it's definitely been an eye-opening experience to, to live on the $28 a week and, and go to the grocery store and try to make the decisions of what am I going to be able to buy and you know, as I was filling up the grocery cart with soup and items like that, I I was calculating the total and it got higher. You know, I, I had just very few items in my cart and I was really concerned that I wouldn't even be able to have enough to, to get through the week. And so it really makes you think that, uh, you know, a lot of people go through that all the time and, and don't know if they're going to have enough food to even make it through the end of the week or until their, their benefits reload into their cards. Yeah. You know, it's not it's not as easy as everybody everybody thinks it is to be on the SNAP program. It's it's really difficult. You know, you have to you have to really plan out and be able to to buy enough food to last. And of course, it was just me that was eating on that. So I can only imagine what it was like 
would be like to be able to feed your family or you know if you had kids or something like that so it definitely would be very difficult to make those choices on on what you were going to buy we're, we're still going through the the month of, of March and uh, uh, this week I was uh, lucky enough to have is one of my partners Bridget Blevins from uh, KQ2 here in town and um, here to talk about uh, her experience and share some thoughts and Bridget thanks for being a part of the program this I'm year. I'm glad to be a part of it. Experience? Yeah, I'm glad you asked me to do this. It's definitely been an experience. Well, great. Well, tell us a little bit about your, your week so far and how it's gone. Well, for me, I started off on Sunday, so um, the biggest thing for me at first was to just make a plan and get ready for the week. So I started off by figuring out, you know, what I was going to spend my money on and how I was going to make that last through the week. So I, I kind of looked at ideas of what I could make with the that I was going to purchase and so when I went to the grocery store I spent probably 45 minutes more than I would normally sure. spend at the grocery store just really I'd pick something up and then I'd put it back I don't necessarily need that what about this and so as I made my way through I just really had to look at what did I need for the week not what did I really want for the week so it was a much different experience at the grocery store 